movement we also increase all right now take the dumbbells let's go now we're just doing bicep curls Next one, we bend to the front, straight back, then you extend the elbows towards the back. So now it's 15 minutes of upper body work. So by upper body, I mean chest, back, biceps, triceps, and shoulders. Now we're going to deadlift, arms here just hanging straight and then you do a hip hinge and then you come back up right. So as you come up right, think of pushing your chest to the front and then from here you start squeezing the glutes, squeeze the glutes. 10 seconds. Wonderful. Next one, we are still walking the back. Wide stance with the feet, bend to the front, and then we are doing bent over rows. Control. really bring the elbows as high as you can and behind you do as if you want your shoulder blades to meet wonderful next one we're going to do a combination so we do deadlift once we are here do bicep curl all right let's go Happy Sunday to everybody here with us. I rings up. Get the mats ready. Now, we're going to do push-ups. So you start from this position, palms below your shoulders. Then you extend your elbow joints. This is the modified push-up. So you make sure that the core is tight. We didn't bury time. We didn't even so. Alright, let's go one more round for push-ups. Kazamunda. Core tight. If you do two but two good ones, it's okay. The key is to know which muscles to contract. So push-ups come in handy, for instance, if someone falls, then their hand can carry their body weight. Okay, now we are sitting like this, lift your feet from the ground, and if you can, your hand also. Oh, 
shirin mo karahas. I'm surprised she can do this movement. Beautiful. Now we are going again to push-ups. Go tight when you're doing the push-up. Barbara James, welcome, happy Sunday. All right, we're going to co-workout again. So now, elbows down. Now we're going to do bicycles. What is Yummy Hot? So the advance is to really extend your leg. In the modified, you just stay up here. Beautiful. Now, we are going here. Do the bridge. And then when the timer hits, you lift your knees from the ground. Knees are not touching the ground. Go tight. And lower back tight as well. Beautiful. Now, we are standing up. Next one, it's upright, overhead presses. I know it's not easy, but we can do it. We just have to push a little bit more. This is how we become stronger and fitter. Okay, wonderful. Now, we are going to bicep curls. Let's go. Six more minutes and then we have our break. Zero fitness. Hello, hello. The weather is changing too much. That's why like the images are getting darker. Actually, I thought it was going to rain. All right. One round of a short break. The way it was going to fall. All right. Now, get ready. You see, this t-shirt was dry when we started, but now the body is appreciating the gift of movement. Okay, let's go. Bent over row, no, deadlift. And then we come upright. We are doing great, guys. Next one, we stay here, we do bent over row, come upright, 
then you do upright row. Combination of three movements. Let's go. Bent over row. Reverse deadlift. Dave. All right. Next one, we're just doing upright rows like this. You elevate. Wrist should always be below the elbow joint. Beautiful. Now we are here, so we stay here, then you re release, and then you go on the other side. So it's isometric contraction and single arm bent over row. Push your chest to the front, that's where your back is straight. Are here arms are bent 90 degrees now we just rotate towards the back lateral and then we bring them to the center line so the biceps are doing isometric contraction Deadlift. So, like this, and then you come up right. Deadlift and bent over row. Let's go. Push your chest to the front. Let's do some push-ups. Let's go. So now we do push-up, you release, and then you push again up. Wonderful. So next one is just plank, modified, knees and elbows are touching the ground. Do as if you're going to do the push-up and then bring your buttocks up. And non-modified knees are not the one touching but your toes. Go tight. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Well, well done. A quick short break. <laughs> yes, yes. Well done.
you want to be among the ambassadors of this channel, all you have to do is to share one or two videos with one or two people. And I will add you among the ambassadors of this channel. It was a pleasure having you guys. It was a pleasure. All right. And Barbara saying, Coach, you're on top. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Leon saying, thanks. Yes, yes. So, Friday we had a short workout, but today we did a full workout. That means everything is good. So, I am fully vaccinated. <laughs> Barbara clapping, clapping. Yes, yes. Let me also send some claps. Thank you, everybody. Winnie saying thanks, Remy and Coach. Mom and Coach. Yes, yes. It's always a pleasure to have you guys day in, day out. Home Fit community is a strong community. A place where we come to gift ourselves a good dose of movement. We believe that movement is the best medicine we can gift to our body. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you and have a lovely Sunday. Tomorrow we have our weekly schedule, 45 minutes on Monday. And also on Wednesday we continue, on Friday we continue with the program. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure having all of you here. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Let's see. Just <laughs> Barbara is uh, really saying, just share with two people. <laughs> yes, yes. Coach, I have noticed the more I work out, the easier they are getting. I still struggle with push-ups. All right, push-ups, it's basically uh, body... Push-up is one of like the difficult movement. But with time, as you build up core and uh, shoulder strength, they will also become easy to do. So to really do a push-up, you have to contract your core. So push-up actually requires triceps and shoulders and core. And the shoulders are the weakest muscle in the in doing push-ups. So that's why you require like a good shoulder strength to be able to execute a push-up. But with time you will be able to do push-ups and I'm sure you have noticed some wonderful benefits just by working out. And as I always say, movement is the best gift to the body, the only medicine without si any side effect. And as you see, the that all those are like uh, things, the benefits of uh, doing push-ups If you can do push-ups, that shows that uh, the body, body weight to body strength is good. But with time, I believe you will be able to do it because we, with the, the workouts we do, we strengthen the shoulders, we strengthen the triceps, we strengthen the core. And uh, the next thing is to just know when to switch between those muscles that uh, help one another to execute the push-up. All right, I was answering this question by Winnie. And now Barbara, she's going to do a morning walk at 6 o'clock. Yes, that is also a good dose of movement. And you just have to do some physical movement 
with the aim of just relaxing, gifting a good dose of movement to the body, and then you will see the benefits of working out. Barbara saying, it was really pleasure. Thank you, Barbara, for being with us. Even though you are not working out, you are cheering for us. Thank you and enjoy your Sunday walk. All right, guys, let's end our Sunday. Yeah, Irene, I thought she started already. So, yeah, indeed, Barbara, sometimes people think. Tomorrow is going to be easier to start, but it's always easier to start when the idea comes. When you think tomorrow it's going to be easier, we'll be more motivated, everything will be aligned. It's, uh, I think it's <coughs> utopia. And uh, that moment or that moment where things align doesn't exist. All right. Thank you, everybody, and uh, let's end our Sunday. I thank everybody who was here with us, and I'll see you on Monday. Have a lovely Sunday. Have a lovely remaining. Bye-bye.